Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry. And in this video, I wanted to um, talk a little bit about the topic of sand baths for your quail. Um, I've received quite a few questions recently on Facebook and over here on the YouTube channel um, asking if I use a sand bath for my quail and if I do, what are some of the benefits? So I thought I'd make a real quick video and uh, that way uh, this topic's covered for anybody else that may be asking this uh, question in the future. Um, do I supply sand baths? Yes, I do. Um, I try to do it on a weekly basis, um, if not every other week. Um, some of the benefits that you're going to see from uh, providing a sand bath, uh, one, it helps to keep uh, the bird's feathers clean. Um, it also helps them stay free of mites and lice. And uh, you may notice that uh, when you put the sand bass in there, um, they may actually start eating the sand. And what they're doing is basically supplying a uh, grit for the crop to help grind up the food, um, which would be very beneficial if the feed that you're feeding your quail is not a water soluble feed like the crumbles that most of us feed. Um, the main reason that I supply a sand bath is that I noticed if my birds regularly get a sand bath, they don't seem to get uh, uh, a little rambunctious and aggressive. Um, it seems to just settle them down a little bit, gives them time to play in the sand, keeps their mind off of um, you know, fighting and whatnot. So that's the main reason that I do it. Um, as far as what you need to supply a sand bath, um, basically the sand can be purchased at any big box store. Um, they have a sand called play sand, uh, which I think is sold for like using in a play box or a, yeah, a sand box for kids or whatever, or underneath swing sets and whatnot. So that's what I use. Um, it's a, a fairly clean sand. I think the, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the sand is washed and bleached, but, uh, anyhow, that's the sand that I use. Uh, you'll also need a, uh, uh, container to put the sand in and what I use are these little uh, plastic uh, wash tubs like you'd put in your kitchen sink for washing dishes uh, you could pick them up at you know like a dollar general store for a buck a piece um, if you can't find them there the big box stores do sell them they're a little bit more expensive but they do have them um, another alternative to the plastic wash tub you could frame up a small uh, wooden box you know and put like quarter inch plywood on the bottom that would work just fine you could even take a cardboard box and cut down the sides and uh, you know put some sand in there and that'll work just fine for them too. So basically uh, what I do is I'll add like uh, two large cups of sand uh, per container. And you're gonna notice that your birds are gonna kick this stuff all over the place. If your birds are kept inside, you're gonna notice you've got sand all over on the floor. But to me, that's no big deal. I can always vacuum up the floor as long as it's keeping the birds happy. Um, there are some additives that some people do add to their sand. Um, I've heard of people using diatomaceous earth in there, and I think the point behind that is that will help kill off any mites or lice that are on the birds. I myself do not use diatomaceous earth, um, but I do use um, wood ash. Uh, if you've got a fireplace and you burn actual wood, logs and whatnot, or you have a fire pit out back. So take the ash from that. You can mix, you know, a quarter cup or half a cup in with that, um, in with the sand, and they really seem to like that. But if you are gonna use diatomaceous earth, make sure that it is a food grade and that you're not using too much of it because the diatomaceous earth can actually cause respiratory issues. So um, if your birds are outside in an aviary, um, and you prefer to keep them more of a natural setting, you could buy one of those small uh, kiddie pools. I think you can get them as small as like 36 inches across. Uh, dig you a little uh, indentation in the ground, place the pool in there, and fill that up with your sand and your uh, other material um, for them to have a, a full-time sand bath. It might not also be a bad idea to, if you are gonna keep them outside, uh, maybe drill a few holes in the bottom of the, the pool to uh, you know, keep any water that builds up in there uh, it's got a place to drain out of. So, um, yeah, uh, 
I, one thing you're going to notice um, when the birds are done sandbathing, they're going to get out of the box, they're going to hop out of your container, and they're going to shake off the extra dirt, and then you'll see them preening themselves. Um, it's uh, another habit, you know, for cleaning their feathers, but it's also another way of keeping your birds busy so they are not, you know, engaging in uh, fighting or any other aggressive behaviors. So, like, basically what I do is I, I take a cup, or two cups of, uh, and when I say cup, I don't mean like a measuring cup. I'm talking a big, tall, um, probably a 20 ounce cup of sand. I'll put it in one of these things and then I will throw it in with the birds. Watch out guys. And you'll see that they will go for it right away. I mean, they just jump right in there. Um, they look forward to it every time I do it. So, I actually enjoy this day because this is a good day for me to work out in the shop. I can watch the birds, you know, either sand bathing and whatnot. Um, as far as when to start supplying a uh, sand bath for your birds, um, once they're fully feathered. Once the birds are feathered, you can, uh, you know, chicks probably around three weeks old can easily uh, benefit from a sand bath. Um, I wouldn't supply them for really young chicks. Um, I mean, it probably won't hurt them, but I am a little bit concerned that they may be ingesting too much sand and possibly getting an impacted crop or something. So I would stay away from that. So guys, I hope this uh, helps out a little bit um, with your questions as far as uh, sand baths and should you supply them. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below. I try to get in there, you know, at least every day, maybe every other day and answer as many questions as I can. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, it helps me out and uh, you'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. And I think you got to hit the bell for that, the notification bell. So uh, guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, we've got a bunch of new stuff coming up in the future. We're actually starting a new Caternix Corner live show, which is going to air um, probably once a week, once we get it rolling. And it's going to air simultaneously here on YouTube, but it's also going to air on our Facebook group page. So you can see it in either position. And uh, we got a lot of neat ideas for that show. So um, guys, thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.